Hi friends, my name is Bhavya Mangla. I am IITF qualified auditor and I am doing audit for automotive sector for the last 17 years. I am again back with a very very interesting topic that what is the difference between verification and validation. Somebody has rightly said that we must share our things which are common to us and we must celebrate our differences. Something similar is with verification and validation. Throughout our working day in day out, we interchangeably use these both the words verification and validation. But if you look clearly at the definitions given in ISO 9000 2015 version, so as per that verification is about objective evidence that whether specifications have been met or not. When we talk about validation, it is about the objective evidence that whether the intended requirements have been met or not. When we talk about verification, we are talking about the objective evidence. When we talk about validation, we are talking about the subjective evidence. When we talk about verification, we are saying that whatever is specified in the drawing or any technical specification, whether it is meeting or not. When we talk about validation, our intent is to see that whether the intended requirement of the customer or any specific interested party, whether it is met or not. In other words, verification is about whether system is right or not. And validation is about whether we are doing the right things or not. When we talk about verification, our intent is that we pick up a particular product and we'll try to see that whatever specification that it should meet, whether it is meeting or not. When we talk about validation, our intent to see that whether after meeting this specification, it is fulfilling the expectation of the customer or not. If we talk about an organization as per ISO 1 as well as IATO 16949, starting from incoming inspection till dispatch, you will find there are many clauses where we are using the word verification and validation, but they have got their distinct meaning and we must understand. Let me give an example of this particular pen. When we talk about verification, our intent is that whether the color is black or not, whether the length, diameter, the color of the ink, whether it is meeting the specification or not. When we talk about validation, the intent is that whether it is going to meet 200 hours of continuous ink or not, whether the ink quality, the brightness of the ink will remain same when it is in the beginning until the end. So these are all the intended requirement. If, you give, if I give another example, say we go to a restaurant. Now, when we go to the restaurant, there are certain specifications that we expect that should be met. Now, specifications can be that whether it is a vegetarian restaurant or a non-vegetarian restaurant, what kind of food is being served, is it continental, Chinese, Indian, then there can be some other specifications also. But when we talk about validation, the intent will be that whether the food quality was good, whether the ambience was good, whether the kind of flavor that we were expecting that was good or not. So these are all the intended requirement which becomes a part of validation. So if I do a summary, verification is about meeting the specifications and validation is about meeting the intended requirement of the customer. So there can be a possibility that when we are verifying a product, it may be okay but it may fail as per the intended requirement of the customer. My next video will be with respect to the difference between effectiveness and efficiency indicators. Regularly, I'm getting a lot of feedback from your side and it is helping me to understand your expectations. So please continue to do that. And if you're liking these kind of videos, so you can subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as my website bhavyamangla.com. And in case you want to understand about this video a little bit more in detail, in the description, you will find a blog wherein you will find everything in much more detail. Thank you very much.